Hello, my lovely Virgo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Virgo romantically. This is a timeless reading, Virgo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do like to remind you, it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. And as always, you are more than welcome to take what works and just let go of anything that doesn't really fit for you and whatever you got going on in your life right now. Before we get to it, I also wanna remind you, I have my Etsy shop up and running. So if you would like to purchase a tarot card reading from me, you can head on over to Etsy. You can see everything that I currently have available in my shop. And I will put the link to my shop in the description box just below this video. All right, Virgo, so let's get to it. Today, we're looking at the recent past, the current moment, as well as what is coming toward you in the near future. I'm gonna start with a couple of Oracle cards to get some overall energy. And then we're gonna get into the specifics with the tarot. So let's get one card for Virgo go for the recent past please make the effort great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take somebody was definitely making the effort toward you here in the recent past Virgo like I said we are going to pull some tarot in just a moment to dig a little bit deeper into that I always kind of feel like the make the effort card shows up when there's some sort of issue or some sort of tension that's showing up within a romantic connection. This could have been with your partner in the recent past or maybe even somebody who you had just started to date. Maybe something was kind of going on, something was a little bit messy within the connection, but it does feel like there was somebody who was trying to almost prove to you or demonstrate their love for you. Maybe they messed up and they were trying to make amends. We'll see what the tarot says, okay? Let's get one card for the current energy for Virgo, please. And then we've got heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So in the current moment, there's definitely an open and honest conversation that needs to happen here between you and somebody. If you're in a relationship, this could be a moment where the two of you are really getting deeper and being vulnerable within your connection. If you are single, this could be somebody coming in and maybe even just opening up to you and telling you that they're into you and they want to be with you, like almost as if there is a bit of a heartfelt confession or a heartfelt declaration of love that's coming through. So again, we'll look at that more in just a moment. And then let's get one card for the near future here for Virgo, please. And then we've got unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you guys know what I say when it comes to unrequited love. That street is a one way street. Unrequited love represents a situation where one person has feelings for another and those feelings are not reciprocated. So what I see potentially happening here in the near future is the need to disconnect from a dynamic that is one-sided. So what could be happening here, Virgo, is that maybe there's somebody who's really into you and you're like, I'm not into this, I want something else. Or it could be you where you're like holding on to somebody where there's no potential future there. And so we're gonna have to clarify that to get a little bit deeper. I personally feel that whenever I get the unrequited love card, it's this, it's kind of interesting because the energy is a little bit more challenging because like I said, it's like a one-sided dynamic, but it's also an invitation to actually step into what you want and to go after what you want. Because let's say that you do find yourself holding on to this attachment to somebody who is not showing you the time of day, who's not giving you what you need, who's not connecting with you in the way that you really want or desire. What it means is that there is something better for you, Virgo. And it's about being able to step into your power and go after. It, okay but like I said it could also be that somebody's into you and you're like I don't know I don't feel it that could also be it maybe the person who's been trying to make an effort and trying to like open up and be vulnerable with you maybe they're not doing enough to fix things and maybe some of you are making the decision to walk away so there's a couple different ways I kind of see this potentially going so let's get into the tarot let's get one card for the recent past here for Virgo please let's see judgment okay I feel like somebody had an awakening here Okay, what's coming to mind like immediately for me, Virgo, is the energy in the recent past of somebody who took you and your connection for granted. I think there is somebody who maybe, I don't know why, but the word lazy is coming to mind. That's not really a word I typically use in my readings, uh, but the word lazy is coming to mind. Like they got lazy about your relationship and maybe they stopped trying and maybe they stopped putting in the effort, 
but then they had this wake-up call where they're like wow I am losing Virgo or I could seriously lose Virgo if I actually don't step it up and start taking this more seriously and start making more of an effort within this connection I definitely get the energy of a very big wake-up call with that judgment so we'll clarify that in a moment for you Virgo uh, let's get one card for the current energy for Virgo please oh the sun okay well, that is a very, very happy energy. I would argue that the sun is the happiest card within the tarot. Maybe some of you guys are uh, hooking up with the Leo. It's Leo energy there. This is positive though, because my first impression is that because we have heart to heart conversations and we have the sun, it feels to me like whatever is being revealed to you in the current moment, Virgo is gonna make you happy. So I think you're gonna be feeling good about how a romantic connection or how a romantic conversation is progressing here. So you're gonna be hearing something that makes you feel good and happy. Okay, uh, let's get one card for the near future for Virgo, please, let's see. And then Knight of Cups, that's an interesting one. Uh, Knight of Cups is a very romantic energy. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, we're gonna have to clarify this because I'm still not really sure which way this unrequited love thing is going in the near future. The Knight of Cups is like very romantic. So it's almost as if somebody might be really pursuing you and you're like, I don't really know how I feel. I'm also getting the message here of somebody maybe coming on a little bit strong and it could be scaring you off. So we will look at that more in just a moment. So let's go back to the recent past though and work our way up. Tell me more about this judgment energy for Virgo in the recent past. Tell me about this judgment energy. The hanged man, yeah. I really do think that you were stuck in a relationship that was not going anywhere. I think you may have been putting a little bit of pressure on the situation or at least making it clear to your person that if they did not step up, if they did not start doing things to move the relationship forward, you were out of there. And so I do think that this person, like I said, they kind of got complacent. The hanged man, you can see there's no action in that card. It's not going anywhere. There's no movement within that energy. And so I'm hearing the words fed up, you getting fed up with feeling like the relationship had become stagnant. Uh, tell me more about this judgment energy. Let's see, three of wands, yeah. You basically started saying, do you see a future here? Do you see us being together? Do you see us creating a future? I do think you started to ask some of those harder hitting questions because you realized that, you know, if things just stayed the way they were in the recent past, you could have probably just coasted, right? You could have probably just kept going year after year doing the same thing, but not really feeling like the relationship was progressing. And so I do think you were putting pressure on that situation and being like, I want to feel like I'm growing. I want to feel like we're growing. I want to feel like this is going somewhere. And so I need you to start like stepping it up. Otherwise, I'm out of here, right? Like, I need you to make the effort. Um, the uh, ultimatum is coming to mind, like giving an ultimatum. I know people have different feelings about ultimatums. Um, an ultimatum to me, like the way that I try to look at ultimatums is not like do this or else. The way that I look at ultimatums is about expressing our needs. Like to me, ultimately, ultimately, if somebody gives an ultimatum, it's because they feel like their need is not being met, right? That's why you would give an ultimatum. You're looking at your connection and you're like, something isn't working here, so I'm gonna give an ultimatum. So what does that suggest? There's a need that you have that's not being met. And that's what I think you were trying to address here in the recent past. Uh, tell me more, two of cups. It's interesting. I really get the energy of um, like, <laughs> I almost feel like whoever you were dealing with didn't realize how dire the circumstances were. Like they didn't really realize how dissatisfied you were in this connection. But as soon as they started to realize that you're asking these questions, you're wanting to move the relationship forward. My sense here is that they started to step it up. I think they actually did. And that's why I feel like we have the judgment energy, which is about that kind of awakening moment. Because I do think that they love you, right? With that two of cups, I do think they looked at you and they're like, this is a great partnership. I don't wanna lose this. And so I actually feel like this person started to step things up and they did actually start to make the effort here in the recent past. But I do think that all of this happened because you were putting some pressure on this situation and being like, I need things to move forward. I'm not gonna be here forever. I'm not waiting around for like 10 more years to find out if maybe you wanna be with me. But I do think that 
you issued in a way like an ultimatum, but I think it kind of worked out for you. That's my sense here, Virgo. So let's see what's going on in the current energy, okay? So we've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations and we've got the sun. So like I said, there's like some sort of emotional situation here that you're gonna feel good about it. Let's find out more about this sun energy, please, for Virgo in the current moment. The world, that's a lovely energy, right? <laughs> Dropping my cards, there we go. Um, happiness, fulfillment, feeling content, um, feeling a sense of satisfaction. The world is also the last card in uh, the major arcana for uh, the fool's journey. Like the major arcana start with the fool and end with the world. And essentially what the tarot major arcana do is they kind of like <laughs> represent the fool's journey through the major arcana at the culmination of the world card, right? So you get to the end, which is the world, and it represents some sort of cycle wrapping up. And so I feel like for those of you who are with somebody where it was a little bit rocky in the past and you were like, I need you to step it up, I need you to like show me that you're serious, I do think there's an energy right now of being able to like leave the past in the past and move forward. Let's see what else. Five of Wands. This may involve like some conversations. You might find yourself butting heads a little bit, but I'm actually feeling it as a really positive energy. And I'm gonna explain why, because that's not normally how I feel the five of wands, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking here in the context of your reading, Virgo. I feel like in the recent past, there were a lot of conversations that were not happening between you and your person. Like there were no conversations, there were no fights. And I know you're probably like, well, why would I wanna fight with my partner? To some degree in a relationship, you need to have those arguments. Like that's gonna happen. Um, you know, most relationships are gonna have moments where people have to hash it out. The two of you need to talk about your feelings, your differences, your values and what you want. But if you're able to navigate those conversations, it can bring you so much closer together and it can unite you. And what's coming to mind here, Virgo, is that in the past, the two of you were not having the conversations you needed to have, like nothing was really being said. But in the current moment, I feel like you're finally having those conversations. And yeah, maybe some of them are more difficult conversations about the future. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? How do we get on the same page? But it feels productive because my sense here is that the two of you are now actually having those conversations. And that is a big part of what is driving this momentum in your relationship. Okay. And then at the unknown. <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is obviously not a normal card within a tarot deck. I'm using the Crystal Visions Tarot. I love this deck, by the way. I use it a lot on my channel, but it has this one extra card called the Unknown, and I kind of leave it in the deck just to see when it shows up. I feel like what I'm getting here off of this energy is be okay with not having all of the answers right now in the current moment. You might be connecting with somebody on a deeper emotional level. Um, for some of you, I mean, if you're not currently partner, this could be somebody new coming into your life. Or like I said, it could be your current relationship. I think you need to, it's kind of, yeah, what I'm getting here is like, you don't need to know all the answers right now. I get this feeling of like, navigating with each other, communicating about the future, figuring out what you wanna do, you might not have it all figured out, but at least you're moving in the direction of having those conversations. So be open to the possibilities. I also feel like the unknown card is saying like, you know, not everything necessarily has to play out a certain way. There might be some sort of unexpected opportunity that the two of you can jump on at this point, something new that you can explore together. So allow a little bit of that mysterious unknown energy to come in because I feel like there could be an opportunity here for you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. It feels good. Like I'm definitely getting something here about an unknown opportunity. Anyway, take it or leave it, Virgo, if that connects with you. But I think the most important thing that I see right now and the big takeaway message for the current moment is allow yourself to connect on that deeper emotional level with whoever it is you have here, whether it's your current partner or somebody new who's coming in and really allow yourselves to kind of um, be open about what you want and what you desire and what you want to create in the future so that you really have this beautiful energy of synergy and momentum that's moving the connection forward. That It feels really good. I'm just going to say the current moment, whatever you got going on, I feel like there's a very productive energy that's leading to momentum for you, okay? So let's look at the near future because this is where things get interesting for me and I'm like, what is this? Okay, so unrequited love in the Knight of Cups. We got to clarify this Knight of Cups. Tell me what's going on with this. What is this Knight of Cups here? Let's see. The Hierophant, okay. 
Uh, this is a card about commitment. It can represent tradition. It can represent marriage. It can also represent um, getting wise advice from somebody like a trusted mentor. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups, please. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. I think it has to do with pacing, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. I think for some of you, it has to do with pacing. Okay, hold on. Let's get one more, and then I'm going to tell you what I think is going on here. Four of Pentacles. All right. So here, <laughs> okay, here's what I think is going on in the near future. There's somebody here who you're connecting with romantically. I think there is a difference between the two of you in terms of how quickly you want to move the relationship forward, and you're going to have to manage that difference. I see somebody here really embodying that Knight of Cups energy, and the Knight of Cups can come in pretty quickly and be very romantic and want to move things forward, but sometimes it can feel a bit intense. It can feel like somebody's coming on a little too strongly. And so I do see in the near future here somebody who is really trying to take the next step, but you might be feeling like, like, I, like what I want to say is you might want that, like you do want serious commitment with this person, but you want to take things a little bit slower, especially with that seven of pentacles, than they want to, right? You don't want to lose the relationship with the four of pentacles, but I do think that this is somebody where if there is the potential for marriage, I don't think you're looking to rush into things. And I think what might happen in the near future is that you're a little bit, um, weary because of how quickly something is moving or maybe your person's a little bit weary about how something is moving and i think what just needs to happen here virgo is a conversation between two people about the pacing of the relationship like what i'm almost picking up on it's kind of funny um you know in the recent past how i was like you could have been dealing with somebody who was kind of sitting on their butt not really doing much and then finally they stepped it up maybe they're really stepping it up and they're like, okay, Virgo, let's get married. And you're like, whoa, okay. Like, I, I'm glad you're taking me seriously. I didn't mean I wanted to get married. I just wanted us to have a bit more momentum in the relationship. So I think it's kind of feeling for some of you, again, it's a pacing issue in the near future where you might feel like there's a couple of missing steps where you're like, okay, I do see us getting married and I'm so happy you're like taking this seriously, but like here's like the three things that need to happen in between <laughs> before we get to that point. So it's kind of, um, do, you get, do you get what I'm saying? Like your person is almost uh, maybe overcompensating a little bit to really show their love and you're like, okay, I'm happy that you're invested in this, that's great, but now we've got to figure out together what does the pacing look like, when does it feel right for us to take the next step and all that good kind of stuff, okay? Um, I think it works out here. <laughs> I do think there is going to be a moment where somebody, either you or your person, kind of pulls back and is like, now it's feeling a little bit too intense, but how do you navigate that? You talk about it. Like in any good relationship, if you're feeling upset or frustrated or uncertain about something, have that conversation so that the two of you can get on the same page because I don't think you guys want to lose each other. I don't think you're letting go, but I think you're going to have to figure out like what feels comfortable for both of you. So just kind of be prepared that those type of conversations might come up for you in the near future here, Virgo. All right. So that's what I've got here for you today. If you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Uh, definitely head on over to Etsy and see what I got going on over there if you are interested. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.